This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have a very, very fast how do I tutorial. Now, I have to tell you I kind of stumbled on this and for many of you this may not be anything new, but it was something that I um, recently kind of enjoyed and I thought, hmm, what can I do with this when I was working on a project? So let me tell you what I want to do. We've all seen, these are from K and Company, we've all seen these nice epoxy type stickers. These are Susan um, Wingett's Clearly Yours from the K and Company and they're, they're very pretty. They've got some sparkle in them, they've got, um, some of them have saying, some of them have like this one says wish and a little tiny bird and there's just a butterfly and there's bees. Just a very beautiful set. Then I also have from the same collection and set these stickers. Now these are raised and I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do is going to probably lose the raisedness to that but I'm okay with that just because I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. So I chose one of these stickers and this particular one says happy. Now I'm using my non-stick mat here because then I can lift it back up later. And this is how simple it is. Grab your glossy accents. Glossy, I, I have used techniques where I've put something on a card before um, and then just let it dry and it makes it glossy. Now sometimes glossy accents will curl things so you have to be aware of that. But I have to tell you, it does a really good job making these epoxy type stickers. So um, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but all I did is I went over and I made sure that I provided really even coverage with my um, uh, glossy accents. And right now it's cloudy and that's okay because as it's dry, it will be clear. And as I'm looking at it, I see here, I missed a little bit here, so I wanna fill it in. Cause I want to be sure that everywhere is filled in because if it's not glossy accents is thick enough that it really doesn't run um, I mean I suppose if you got enough of it it would but it really doesn't run that much and so you want to be sure that it's um, really evenly coated and we'll just let that dry and let me show you the result I made this little dice earlier now um, recently I did an ATC project where I actually this is a photograph that I took of a dice and I, then I cut it out and um, I put it on an ATC card and then I turned it into epoxy sticker but I got to thinking why can't I make my own epoxy stickers how often do we have something that we like and we just want to add that little extra dimension and that one was done I thought and I see that I missed some spots but we just want to add that little extra dimension of an epoxy sticker well there you have it it's not a sticker yet now this one will be a sticker because it was a sticker to begin with if I wanted I could just adhere that to my project with a little bit of glossy accents I could do maybe ATG it would probably work just fine um, or I could run it through my little Xyron Xbox, you know, the little, this little guy here. I could run it through there and actually turn it into a sticker. So on today's quick segment of how do I, the, the question is, how do I make epoxy stickers? Well, I just grab the glossy accents. So thanks for stopping by today and go out and try making your own uh, epoxy, uh, um, epoxy stickers using things you already have on hand. Have a great day. Bye.